What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is Thunder Talks, episode four. I'm your host, JG. And once again, I'm here at Fond du Lac Traveling Community College. Students, um, check in for info about registration, as well as finishing classes, graduation kind of stuff, information. Please, please, please stay connected. Check your email so you stay informed. And with that being said, here's Dr. Anna Felagy with the new normal. On the left, on the we are here to stay. Hi, I'm Anna Felagy. Boujou. Uh, I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Tri uh, Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College. Uh, well, this is not uh, a normal time, that is to be sure, uh, but what I want to tell you is this, uh, it is normal in the sense that we've got about two weeks left to go uh, in spring semester 2020. You need to finish your classes, you're only a couple class meetings away from the end. Uh, it's important for you to continue to think about uh, registering for summer and fall. Uh, those we are on, open, ready to go. If you're graduating, file a graduation app. That stands uh, as well. I know that it's hard at this time and I know that this adjustment's been hard. I want to thank all of you for making that adjustment. So I'm so proud of our students. I'm proud of our faculty and staff. And uh, I just want to uh, give you a gitchi miigwech, uh, a big thanks uh, for hanging in there and uh, and seeing us, uh, seeing it through with us. Thank you. Let's start crazy. Now we've been asking you all, what do you do to cope with this whole COVID-19 pandemic? Mm, it's been pretty difficult for a lot of us. Here's somebody who will share with us how they've been coping with the COVID-19 pandemic. Gotta stay active, gotta stay fit. I haven't been doing much to stay active these days, but um, getting back to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now here's somebody who's gonna show us how they've been staying active throughout this whole COVID-19 pandemic. Hey, so I'm actually gonna be doing activity slash coping this week for you all. And I'm gonna show you a spot that I found that's actually pretty peaceful, away from the city, about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So this place is actually 
northbound on Congdon Boulevard when you get off 61 from Duluth North about 10 to 15 minutes. And over on this side is where you can actually go in and uh, it's a small creek next to it. And it's pretty, it's pretty calm and I'll show you some footage of that. Something else that I do with family is play games on Zoom. And um, I YouTube games for families in quarantine to give you an example that if you search stuff, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that come up, especially on stuff like TikTok. And um, also check out Social Distance Pow Wow on Facebook, which is pretty cool, as well as songs for social distancing. Got some artists that post some songs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, peace. somebody was going to answer some questions about the library. Take it away, Keith. That looks great. No. That, that bald spot was already there. Oh, hi. I'm Keith Sitch, librarian at Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College. As you've probably heard, the physical library space is closed for the rest of the semester. Luckily, we have a large collection of electronic resources to aid you in your research. You can access ebooks, journal articles, streaming videos, and more. You can email my dad for help, or you can set up a Zoom meeting. He's a better librarian than a barber. Check out the library homepage for more information. I look forward to hearing from you soon. <laughs> okay, who's next? Next up is Skip and Babette Sandman, and they're gonna share some Ojibwe more with us. Bonjour. We're Skip and Babette Sandman. We're students from the Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College. This is our message today. These little purple flowers have always been the first. They bring beauty into the world. Minanda Wabigwan, purple flower. This flower reminds us of strength and healing. The only flower in our yard withstanding Gisana, cold, zugipun, snow, nude, and wind. Like you, sheltering in place. Maybe the only one in your house. Today, sit on or near the earth. Touch her and gain strength and healing. Standing strong like Miande Wabigwan. Miigwech. Take care. See you later. See you later. Before I go, I'll share a quick story with you all. My wife and I went down to the St. Croix River uh, State Park down there. And it was exciting, but kind of scary, weirdly at the same time, because it's this paranoia about social distancing and stuff like that. It was so exciting because my wife and I went fishing a few times, but this was the first time that any of us caught a fish while we were together fishing. And it turns out that it was her and I was so excited. And it was a big one too. I wasn't expecting like a fish this big. Like it was like, it's almost 18 inches or something like that. It was just so exciting to, to be out you know, to be hanging with her, that she caught her first largemouth with me. That was dope. And then I was also excited because now I got more of a reason to buy a boat. She wanted to know if we can take it home and cook it and stuff. And I was like, no, not really. We looked it up and no, we couldn't catch it and take it home. But we want to start catching fish like salmon and trout and stuff like that, bringing it home. So if you know anything about Salmon, uh, catching good fish like that that we can bring home, send us a video, give us some tips, and we'll share that with the world. With that being said, it's the end of Thunder Talks with JG, fourth episode. Uh, I'll see y'all next week. Peace.